Introduction: A new way to live and work. We all have two lives. The second one starts when we realize that we only have one. Tom Hiddleston. America is experiencing a personal energy crisis. Most of us live very stressful and chaotic lives. In fact, we're so busy that we hardly have time to sit and enjoy a meal with our families anymore. This way of living is killing us, whether we choose to acknowledge it or not. But the data doesn't lie. Today, we're experiencing more stress and lifestyle-related diseases than ever before. We fool ourselves into thinking that our personal health challenges are the result of bad genes, but the truth is, it is our poor lifestyle habits that activate expression of those genes. The way we live, including the way we work, not only robs us of our health and puts a strain on time and energy resources, it blocks our access to our most essential sources of energy, leaving us feeling physically, mentally, and emotionally drained. Now, growing up in New York City, watching television reruns of Chips, Charlie's Angels, and Starsky and Hutch. I dreamt about the year-round summers and beautiful beaches in Los Angeles. So imagine my delight when, in 1990, I graduated from Columbia University with a degree in electrical engineering, and had a job offer in Los Angeles. I was very excited to leave the congested city life and cold winters behind me. My excitement, however, was short-lived. Working ten to twelve-hour days left me perpetually exhausted. I had to get up at five a.m. just to get my workout done, which meant getting less than six hours of sleep each night. Working such long hours also meant not having time for friends or much of a social life. Worst of all, I developed the bad habit of eating out all the time in an area with few healthy options. I was unhappy. I felt drained every night. I was unfulfilled. My new job was literally bad for my health. This lasted for two years before I finally asked myself the same question I now ask my consulting clients: Why are you doing this to yourself? After four years in corporate America, I made the discovery that I am not the employee type. So I hung up my suit and tie and bid farewell to corporate America, to pursue the uncertain life of an entrepreneur. My experience working in corporate America is not all that uncommon, however. Most people respond to rising demands by putting in more time. They stay late at the office and still take work home. Sound familiar? Rising demands on our time eventually takes a toll on health, energy, and the very experience of living. But it doesn't have to be that way. The old paradigm of sacrificing health, family time, and quality of life so that we can get more done is yesterday's thinking. Fortunately, more and more of us are realizing that the way we currently live is unsustainable. We recognize that time may be a limited commodity, but energy is renewable, and therefore limitless. The new way to live is to cultivate positive energy in all areas. This, in turn, will make your life, including your work, more engaging, fulfilling, and definitely more meaningful. By focusing on your energy needs, you can actually get more done, make a difference, and still have time for the things that matter most. This realization has completely transformed my life, and the lives of many of my clients who have made dramatic changes as well. It wasn't easy, but most are happier, healthier, and more fulfilled in all aspects of their lives than before. This is possible for you too. When you learn how to activate the seven pillars of positive energy, you will definitely achieve a higher level of mastery over your life. Mastery is achieved by having a growth mindset. This means. Being willing to change how you interpret your experiences, 
in addition to developing new positive psychology skills to successfully deal with life's adversities. The seven pillars of positive energy that are outlined in this book will help you reclaim control of your life. You will be challenged to develop greater awareness of how and why you live the way that you do. Why do you do the work that you do? Is it fulfilling? Can you make it more fulfilling? Can you generate more passion and purpose? The truth is, if your work doesn't energize you, it is a major energy sucker. Secondly, are you growing, changing, evolving, or are you remaining stagnant? In other words, are you working toward your own personal evolution? To evolve is to develop a greater awareness of self and the world around you. Finally, there have been many books written on how to cultivate positive energy. However, none have touched on how to activate all seven sources of positive energy. Passion and purpose, personal evolution, physical vitality, positive energy, positive psychology, pro-social behavior, and play. Each of us has access to all seven sources of positive energy. However, specific action is required to activate each pillar as a source of positive energy. Without awareness and action, these vital sources often become major energy suckers instead. Energize Your Life shows you how to activate these seven sources. Each of them has the potential to inject massive amounts of positive energy into your work, personal life, and relationships. What happens when we inject positive energy into our work, our family lives, or the pursuit of our dreams? We experience massive breakthroughs because positive energy programs the brain and the subconscious for productive, beneficial action. My hope is that after reading this book, you will be inspired to develop a personal action plan to liberate yourself from the culture of overwork that is preventing you from fully living. Rediscover what truly drives you. Give yourself permission to play and claim your joy moments every day. Read on.